Hey everybody, it's Greybeard here, and we've got a new patch for Kerbal Space Program 2 being 0.1.2.0. Let's hop right into it and see what changed, what didn't change, and what we're looking forward to in the upcoming patches. Let's go! First off, we have bug fixes. Bug fixes first to the flight and map. They fix the deletion of vessels without control during game save. Recovered Kerbals are accessible again from the VAB. Maneuver plans are now constrained by available fuel and will no longer provide false projections that extend beyond the vehicle's capacity. That's pretty good. Rapier engines must be set to closed cycle mode to allow accurate orbital maneuver planning. That kind of makes sense as well, as they don't use their oxygen mode when they're in space. Stop the light parts from consuming electric charge after they are switched off. That's really helpful too. I didn't know that was a bug, but hey, that, that's really good. Fixed parts attached to some physics-less parts falling at launch. That would be really annoying. Improved fuel flow priorities. Fixed spacebar sometimes not triggering staging. What's interesting with a lot of these bug fixes is that you may not have interacted with them yourself. I know for myself a lot of these I didn't personally interact with, but some I did. One that I see here in the bugs for flight and map changes is fixed an issue where engines in the part manager displayed incorrect deactivate or activate state. I definitely ran into that one and it's really annoying. Definitely a lot more to be said here, but we'll move on to the next section. The little rocket ships denote things that the community helped fix, and I do find that those ones are often pretty big. Taking a look at optimizations, they fixed a memory leak in tutorials. That's always nice. Changed Kerbal crew cam to paginated format. I don't know what that is or if I even said it right, so correct me in the comments. Thanks. <laughs> Moving on, we have saving and loading. Camera now returns to saved position and orientation when the game is reloaded. That sounds like a nice quality of life fix as well, uh, just so that you're actually looking the same way you were looking when you saved. And here's an interesting one down further on the list. Fixed a bug where Kerbal's loaded in incorrect locations from a save made while in EVA. I actually think I've heard of this one happening. It's pretty wild, but you just reload and all of a sudden your Kerbal is like either inside the planet or on the other side of the planet or something pretty wild. Uh, so that's a nice one to fix. Uh, parts and stock vessels. Again, big list here. We'll look at a few of them. Kerbals and passenger modules now have IVA portraits and can exit the vessel. That's really important for a lot of things, including the sort of uh, rescue missions that might come with the career mode, as well as a lot of sort of self-made missions where you want to bring a whole host of Kerbals to a planet and you want to be able to get them to actually EVA from their passenger modules. That sounds great. We'll keep moving here to UI UX. Updated the frequency of game paused and unpaused messages to help prevent spamming. Oh my god, this was one of the bugs from the very beginning, and if this is gone, that would be excellent. This is the one where when you unpause the game, there's 14 messages that go all the way up your screen saying that you just paused and unpaused. So that's a nice one to get rid of. I had a look at a bunch more of the UI UX ones, and none of them were really pertinent to things that I remember happening. On to construction. Construction, we have stage groups now remain in their proper order when switching between multiple assemblies in the VAB. The parts manager can now be open for sub-assemblies in the VAB. Added proper handling of nested symmetry sets. Fixed an issue that could cause staging order to change when reverting to VAB with complex multi-vessel workspaces. I think I ran into quite a few of these in one way or another. It's kind of hard to tell what is actually happening when you're in the VAB with a big vessel and something is just not working properly, but a lot of these sound like they're going to fix a lot of the issues we have with large vessels, so that's great. This one feels pretty important. Fixed a bug that removes struts and fuel lines from duplicated sub-assemblies in the VAB. This one definitely happens all the time and it's really annoying, so that'll be really awesome if that works. Environments, moving right along. Added new building illumination to KSC that activates and deactivates based on the time of day. Herbals are now properly illuminated on the launch pad at night. Updated collision meshes and materials for KSC parking garage. A bunch of things here that just will make things work a little bit more as intended, I would assume. Looks like there was a bunch of FX and audio fixes, including things that shouldn't make sounds or things that should make sounds, now not doing it or doing it. <laughs> so that's pretty good. There were a few tutorials changes as well, although I'm not interacting with the tutorials much, so I'm just going to skip that part. And there's localization, which again, I don't interact with very much as I only speak English, but for people who speak other languages, this could be a really great change for you. It says that there is improved translations in several videos video languages, updated localization terms for new game creation in all languages, and they fixed various localization issues in the parts manager for pods, coupling, fuel tanks, engines, and utility in all languages. And there's a big list of stuff that all kind of pertains to that as well. So 
It sounds like they did a lot of work on localization to make the game more accessible for people with other languages. So that's great. All together here, no new features, no new gameplay. This is still 0.1.2. So personally, cool stuff. I'll probably load up the game and try some of this, but I don't think it's going to be a reason to really come back to the game quite yet in full. That will of course be when the first real content patches come out. Those content patches being the promised science mode, so you get some kind of progression. That's when I'll definitely come back and start playing the game a lot more. I think along with a lot of people will probably do that as well. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more, subscribe and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.